to Guinea now, where health experts have been dispatched to areas where an outbreak of the Ebola virus has been detected. Last week, the health ministry announced the re-emergence of the virus in Nzere Kure, in the southeast of the country. The World Health Organization has reported seven cases, including five deaths. Four of those deaths are probable and one is confirmed. CGTN's John Joy Kiruki Juma brings us the latest. A team of experts was dispatched to the affected area immediately after the virus outbreak was announced in Zerakure. Samples collected from the area and taken for analysis in laboratories in the capital Conakry confirmed the worst. The country was once again facing a new wave of the Ebola virus. There will be a fact-finding mission sent to demarcate the area that is incriminated and the villages of all the people who took part in the burial ceremony in order to identify contacts and isolate them. Afterwards, there will be a second mission that will take some time to be able to provide the answer to the source of this new outbreak. This mission will seek to find out whether it is an old disease that has awakened in the body of the patient or whether it is from wild animals such as bats that are incriminated in the genesis. We also made contact with the WHO. This time we are going to use our fatal weapon against Ebola, which is vaccination. The World Health Organization is sending 11,000 doses of Ebola vaccines to Guinea. Support will be deployed across all pillars of the response, including coordination, care and support, infection prevention and control, surveillance, community engagement, risk communication, logistics, human resources and finance. We will rapidly deploy capacity to support Guinea, which already has much more experience. Nearly 11,300 people died in the Ebola epidemic that gripped Guinea between 2013 and 2016. The deadly virus has re-emerged as the country struggles to contain COVID-19. Health experts say the new outbreak is likely to impact ongoing efforts against the coronavirus. This impact can be seen through the psychological state of the affected populations in Zere Kure and through the general concern of Guineans about this very dangerous Ebola epidemic. In addition to the psychosocial impact, the resurgence of Ebola will impact the country's economy as the government will spend more money. The National Health Security Agency is also obliged to carry out additional site-oriented strategies, and all these activities and equipment are expensive. Growing concern continues to plague the residents of Conakry as the country ramps up its Ebola response. When the virus appeared in 2014, things were not easy, especially for us who live in the interior of the country. Every day there were deaths, which is why we are worried. I am very worried and I hope that the government will immediately take every adequate measure to circumscribe the second wave in the Nzerekure area so that the virus does not spread throughout the entire territory as it did in the first time. Guinea's health ministry said all confirmed cases had been isolated. This reported cases of Ebola virus are the first in West Africa since 2016. Joy Kiruki Juma. CGTN. Well, Dr. Mori Keita is the incident manager for Ebola outbreak in Guinea, based in Conakry. She's joining us now for more. Dr. Keita, thank you for joining us on Africa Live. Could you start by giving us a brief on the status of Ebola vaccinations in the country? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, about uh, the vaccination, I think now we have already uh, trained local team. You know, uh, we have already deployed some uh, uh, supervisor uh, in the region, but we are waiting for the vaccine. Uh, today, we will receive the vaccine uh, uh, at the airport. So uh, the vaccine will be sent to Jerry Kore tomorrow. I will be on the flight uh, and with uh, the WR and with the, uh, uh, some uh, colleague with the Ministry of Health. So how is Guinea and the region in general, though, prepared to deal with any new Ebola cases? Uh, um, 
For this new uh, EVD outbreak, uh, it should be mentioned that uh, you know uh, Guinea is uh, uh, a little bit prepared uh, to respond to this outbreak. But uh, in terms of uh, preparedness at the region uh, level, uh, WHO has already sent a checklist to assess capacity and preparedness in nearby county and has already uh, released uh, 1.25 million to support response in Guinea and preparedness. Uh, in addition, uh, uh, great progress has been made since uh, 2014 uh, if the outbreak in West Africa. Uh, WHO has supported uh, the scaling up of uh, integrated disease surveillance and response uh, throughout the African region. Uh, we are now in the process to document the status, best practices, and lessons learned to enhance uh, health security in African region. Uh, regarding uh, international health regulation capa core capacity, uh, it should be uh, mentioned that uh, most of the countries in the African region uh, have carried out uh, the joint external evaluation uh, and action plan have been developed. So today I can say uh, that uh, the African region is better prepared right. than uh, 2014 if the outbreak in West Africa. So there is another public health crisis ongoing, the COVID-19 pandemic. How is Guinea going about or coping with the new Ebola cases in the middle of another pandemic? Uh, absolutely. Uh, as you might know, the context of COVID-19 pandemic is uh, uh, having an impact on uh, any intervention in Guinea and uh, uh, around the uh, African region. Uh, the EBD outbreak will not be an exception. However, uh, contrary to other regions, the African region is dealing with more than uh, 100 public health events annually. As a result of these challenges, I think some capacity have been developed. Even now, Guinea is dealing with uh, uh, yellow fever, with uh, measles, uh, uh, with COVID-19 and Ebola. Uh, with the support from all the partners, including WHO uh, and uh, uh, NGOs, uh, I think we will support the country to respond to this uh, new event. Dr. Mori Keita joining us there from Conakry in Guinea. Thank you.